In this video, we're going to talk about the square type of posament. So all of the square posament, um, no matter how big and complex it looks, it's the same knot over and over again. So we're going to start with just an under loop. So this, uh, so this end is going to be underneath, and the following end is going to go over. Okay, we're going to want a lot on this side and basically nothing over here. We're then going to take our end, go under here and out there, and try and keep it as tight as you can because the, the looser it is, the more you're going to have to pull all the tension in later and it's kind of a pain. So now we're going to create an open loop. We're going to go over here, we're going to go underneath here and then out here. So if we pulled this all the way, it would just come right out. This is over here and over here, okay? And right here it's underneath and underneath. Here it's over. So now we're gonna finish the first, the small um, square knot. So we're gonna go underneath, right there, over, underneath again, and then over. Okay, now if you stopped at this point, you would have just your basic square knot. And you can tighten that down and it's really tiny and super cute and I really, really like those. But if you want to make it more complex, if you want to make a bigger one, you just take your rope or tin thread and you run it over again. You go underneath here. Basically, you're going to take your rope, you're going to bring it to this side and you're gonna copy what this one is. So here they're both under, here they're both over, here they're both underneath, okay? And you're gonna have another one of those open loops where if you pulled it, it would just come right out. This one is gonna tuck underneath now and it's gonna go in between those two. And you're gonna do the opposite of what these two do. So here you're gonna go over, you're going underneath here, to lock it in place. And then you're going over, underneath, over, underneath, and then over this. Okay, so we can do that one more time. I have enough cord to do one more, I think. So, I'm gonna tighten it down a little bit more just to make sure I have enough. Okay. So once again, we're going to create that open loop. So we're going to follow what this one right here has done. We're going to go underneath, just like this one, over, underneath, over, underneath, and then out there, and you're going to have your open loop. Make sure this one doesn't slide out because that will ruin everything. <laughs> um, so. You're going to then lock this one in place by going underneath again, right here. And then again, you're going to go in between these two and do the opposite of what they've done. So right here, these two are under, so we're going to go over right here. And then they're under right here, over, under, over, under right here, and then out right there. And then you can just keep doing that until you run out of tin thread and you can get them really big and really complex looking, but it's basically the same thing just over and over again. So that's the square posament. 